We have uh, yet another expert. Uh, we have Ajay Srivastava of Dimension Consulting joining us as well on the phone line to talk to, uh, about this appointment. Hi, Ajay. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, your initial thoughts? I think, uh, one, of course, a good development that if the company finally settled this issue with the management. Uh, but I believe that, uh, you know, when you look at the appointment, one can clearly see that there has been some thinking to get a non-prima donna kind of a person in the helm of the company. He is not heading a large company. He is coming from a second-tier management level into a straight into a, one of the largest listed stocks, which is quite a jump up for him as far as Salil Parikh is concerned. But for Infosys, that's quite a challenge to get someone to come into a leadership role from a sub-leadership position, number two, number three position of another company of a smaller and medium size. So I think it's going to be a challenge because Infosys is a large company with a huge global footprint, listed stock, compared to the incumbent who's coming in with a very different background, perhaps. Relevant background, I must say, on technical side, he's looking after the cloud services, etc. But I think it's a big, big leap of faith for Infosys to get into somebody who is not seriously running a large corporation on his own and therefore can take over the mantle as quickly as we think it can. It also reflects perhaps that Nandan Lickney would be staying on longer in a bit more involved role because that would be necessitated with this person coming in, given the customer interaction, seniority, and everything put together. So I think it's the precursor to say we are okay with the non-flamboyant CEO, we are okay with the medium person, and we will supervise him, guide him, and take this company forward. I think that's been the thinking in the company. So you would see founders perhaps being involved, still involved quite a bit in the company. Okay, so Ajay, you know, we know that the industry itself is facing a lot of challenges, but uh, what can Salil do for Infosys to, as some suggest, perhaps uh, give a better growth rate as compared to what the industry is moving uh, with its current environment? See, I think his profile tells the story that really profile is looking after cloud services, looking after infrastructure services to advance automation. I think two of the big responsibilities he carries along with Sajeti at Cap Gemini, which is what Infosys will try to get in and move faster. Certainly on the cloud platform, they need to do a lot more work, and it's a big area. Infrastructure services, they are really not in the game. HCL Tech is far ahead of the game, so they need to catch up with that. So I think these two would be the big areas for Infosys to start growing. And, uh, you know, it's got a competition. It's got a very well-settled TCS, which is sitting there. It's got a well-settled HCL Tech in, in, in the services sector, which is sitting there. So it's going to be a challenge. But the challenge is being good part is that this man comes with a very relevant focused background from cloud and infrastructure services, which is the need of the R for Infosys, which is a purely services platform-based company. So I think in a fit-wise, is good. As I said, he's not run a large corporation on his own, and that's going to be the challenge.